Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Today we explore how we can use OpenAI's ChatGPT in Python to become a better Power BI developer. Yes, you heard me right. So we use ChatGPT and we ask him or her <laughs> to give us some ideas about uh, improving up the performance of our reports. How do we do this? Well, for that, at first we need an OpenAI uh, account. We can create one for free. So if you have not done that so far, you can go to OpenAI dot uh, com to their website and then um, uh, well register your email address and then you get your free API key which you can create. I already did that so uh, that's why I have here um, the API key which I can import and I stored the API key in a config file. The file is simply called config.py and all I write in there is simply API key equals and then my API key because this allows me then to import the file because it's in the same directory um, directly in here and set OpenAI here, which is the module we need, and we specify the API key and set it to the API key, which I have stored in my config file. In this case, I'm sorry, I will not share my uh, API key with you, but as I said, you can create one for yourself for free. So then uh, what this uh, new API uh, well expects from us is a message, and this message is actually a list. And the reason why it's a list is because during our conversation with ChatGPT, of course, uh, the bot will deliver us, the chatbot will deliver us uh, responses and we ask the chatbot certain questions and all this, this question answer sessions, these will be stored in history. So that's why we have a, a list here to store everything in here. And we start with a role. The role is actually the system itself at the beginning. And then we have some content. And the content is uh, the context we give it at the beginning. So in my case, we say, uh, you, ChatGPT, you are a Power BI expert. Give me a list of optimization tricks to improve the report loading experience. This is what I give here as the prompt, which is actually the context in here, right? And um, so this is the starting point. And actually, I don't have to specify this here directly. I could also say you are a Power BI expert. You have a vast amount of expertise in the field of data analysis and so on. This would also be enough, actually, because this is my question. And that's actually what I will ask in my first question, just to mention this here. But I also uh, wrote it in here. So then we start the loop. We say while true, so that we have an endless loop until we break it. If someone specifies exit, then the chatbot will be closed. And our prompt is simply then the input. So ask me anything. Well, let's put in a space in here as well. And then we say we uh, actually append this prompt in also a dictionary to the message, which we have here. That's why I said it's a list, because it will store all the prior uh, questions we have asked and also the responses from the chatbot. But in our case, uh, the role is the user. So we are the user. And the content then is the prompt. So what we put inside the input box, more or less. And then we generate the response with openai.chatcompletion.create. We specify the model. In this case, I'm using the GPT 3.5, not the 4, because uh, that's this one I can use for free. And of course, you could also use for free. For the uh, version number 4, you would have to pay normally, uh, right now at least. And um, then messages, we specify the message with our list in here. And then we uh, get uh, an well, JSON array back, and then we specify here from this dictionary, actually, it's, it's, a, it's a dictionary more or less, uh, that inside the content, there's actually the message which uh, the JetPod uh, creates. So actually his answer to our question. And then we simply append this again with the role, but this time it's assistant. And from start this one, it's always assistant. I'm not sure why at the beginning it's system and then assistant. Maybe you can also use assistant up here. I have not tried it. Uh, I just have seen that system is always used at the beginning and then it's called assistant, but um, whatever. And then uh, we specify the content and that's the result. And that's basically it. So it's a short script, but this actually should do the trick. And then all you need to do is go into inside the folder you are and uh, then you can run this file. So in my case, it's called JetGPT WHD. So I can say Python and then JetGPT uh, WHD.py. That's the script I want to execute. And if I press enter now, then you see they ask me anything here at the bottom. And then I say, okay, um, how can I improve the loading performance of my Power BI report? like that, okay? Then I put this in uh, or press enter just to ask it. And now of course it might take a little bit of time because now uh, the data is sent to the API. And then of course the chat pod needs to create a response. And we all know that ChatGPT normally creates a response word by word. So it might take a little bit of time until 
uh, the full text is generated. And then, of course, the complete text is, uh, is uh, we will see in the, in the output here as a response. So it's not like the normal experience of ChatGPT if you go to their playground site and you get word by word output. In this case, you can see now we are done. This is the response we get. Uh, okay, scroll up here and here use Power BI Report Server or SharePoint. Deploy reports to Power BI Report Server or SharePoint can reduce the report's loading time, improve the user experience, test and optimize for different devices and browsers, use access reports from different devices and browsers and so on. Um, so these are two responses. I'm actually not sure why it specifies here 9 and 10 right now. I asked it before, so that might be uh, the reason for this, uh, which I have not shown you in the video. But um, as you can see that, it works. So you can now ask a specific question. You can see ask me anything. I can now type in my next question. And again, I will get some responses to the question I ask. And uh, that's it, basically. This is how we can use uh, OpenAI uh, while we develop our Power BI reports or other reports, could be also Tableau, uh, could be other questions you have. But with this little short code, you can actually use their API and then ask your questions and get your answers. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was helpful. If so, give this video a like, please share it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Take care and see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.